Frostone um, capture. Frost, I mean Frostone capture. I think I spelled it wrong on the title screen, but never mind. Um, today I'll be doing a review of a grid app where you can edit your images into different ones like those that have you have on your Instagram that are made by more options. So <coughs> Excuse me. So what you guys want to do, just go Google Chrome first. Um, as you guys can see, I originally was Lucky Metronome, but then I changed my name. Um, but I still go by the name Lucky Metronome, whatever, you guys can call me that, I don't mind. So first thing you gotta do is just go www.photor.com and enter. I'll put this in the link in the description down, I'll put the link in the description down below. And basically what Photor is, it is just a um, video editing software which I have right here. Uh, um, so let me just unpin this from my taskbar hopefully we're recording yep we're recording so what this photo basically is it is like a photo editing but you can make photo coll collages co collages co collages whatever and it's actually very really great and if you just want to check for your this works for your android and iphone and iphones and windows 8 and windows 8 um, I have, I'm running Windows 8 right now, um, so yeah. So just go back to home, click on the. You will click. I have to click. On the, let me say. Let me say. Um, then all you have to do is just. Where is it? Nope, not here. Um. Let's just kind of go home and maybe let's click on these. Nope. No. No. Nah, no. Never mind. Apparently, I can't seem to get to the download page. Whoops. Um, I'll lead you directly to the download page. I'll just have to find the download page, I guess. Uh, maybe not. Um, so let me just check Photor download. Yes, you, you must actually type Photor download, then it will come to Photor Windows and download. Yeah. So this is supposed to be the page you're supposed to see. It's supposed to go to Windows. And download. Oopsies. <laughs> uh, um, so we just click download, and the file will start downloading. But I've already um downloaded it, so let's cancel that download. Cancel it as well. Let's close that up. So this is basically the tip. This is just basically a photo editing software. So let me just open up Photo right now. Let me close up my cl cl close down my window, and let's click open Photo. It's basically what you'll see when you open Photo for the first time. Photo for Windows, copyright 2019-2013, ever imagining in. I'm not doing a product endorsement, so don't worry guys, I'm just doing a review because I want to do. And then once it comes up, this is very, fairly simple, it's just the home screen and you'll find out two buttons saying edit, a powerful tool for intentional editing, my plus effects, border split, shift, and a collage where you can mix and match and do freestyle. I'll first be going through the first button, which is edit, and after once I'm done with all the editing pictures, I will just do it into a collage. Let's just click on the edit the image or the edit. So you'll say just begin. So let's just click here to start. And as you guys can see here, I have many many pictures. So I have four pictures. I mean, like just for today's intro, this is my four picture, my channel picture. You can actually open this up, but I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna put this. Um, I'll put the link for the Google image picture in the description down below, so you guys can check it out. So basically, this is the image that I'll be editing for today. Um, so let's let's first, let me first thing we just go through. Um, um, and there's also this option to go to the Photo Effects Studio Pro, where you can um, do more of the effects and and pretty much like crop and do and have more a little and have more um, like options for the effects on on this software. But this is a trial version, but you can you can look for a crack and get it. But I do not suggest that. I suggest you just get it with money. And let's let's close that up first. So as you guys can see here, there will be uh, this whole column plus this column and uh, in the top here. So let's first start with open the file. It just says open save save as print settings. So let's open up the settings. When I open photo directly, take me to this will actually give you an option to go to which one. And we we'll just cancel that, and you can come to help and check for updates and all these. Pretty cool. And this is a free software, so you don't have to worry. So at the side here, you have all your effects. You can make it to an auto color, a backlight color. You can see the slight difference, a darken, 
a cloudy, the shade, the sunset, which is very nice. The night, which is I think overly saturated, but I do believe when you lower down the brightness. Yes, this look, this looks very nice when you lower the brightness. When you up up the brightness, is really ugly. You can put on flash, fluorescent, portrait, landscape. Landscape is actually one of the best. Um, theater or food. Then right here you'll see the home when you actually click and you actually bring you back to the home screen. Let me just go back to edit. Let's open up this file again. Then you'll see here is the scenes. Which this is this is basically just the scenes. You can go crop where you can crop the image to make it how big and how small you want want it to be. So maybe you can adjust the image to be maybe I just want it to be border border onto the side just touching just barely touching the sides of the picture so so what you guys can do is just just like adjust it like what i'm doing right now push it up then you can have all the width done i can just click done and then you see as you see it's enlarged and you can do all that fun stuff which is really cool the next thing you can see is adjust you can actually straighten the make the image tilt or straighten um you will actually do and if you got if you don't like it you can just click the reset button. With I2 you can actually make this um, look as if it is you can like you see darken the color and uh, yeah pretty cool. So let me just decrease that and you can actually drag it around like that. The tone, which is exposure, like depending on how dark and light the thing is. The brightness, which is how bright the screen will be and how dark the screen will be. Let me actually do that. Contrast to see how dark and light this is. Let me just put it right there. And the saturation to see the darkness and color. The next is the detail where you can blur, which makes this which actually sharpen and blur. Blur it and sharpen it. Really cool. Next thing is the white balance. We can actually change the coloring. So actually, let me just put it back to normal. Increase the saturation and you can actually just change the coloring to make it look like look nicer and you also can do the intensity of the image next thing you can see is the effects of the image where you can actually do have many effects like real, real illusion um, there are so many that I can't go through by today so I may be doing a little tutorial series on this so we can so get ready to check that out there's a black and white, the vintage and there's, um, there's also borders where you can actually make the like like the sides having borders so like maybe you're trying to make it like look like an olden picture, so just put oil slate so it looks a little olden or wooden to make it look more nicer. You can actually make a tilt shift where you can just grab it and put it like that. And you can actually tilt it. I have no idea how you do this. <laughs> so if you guys know how to use this and tell me so I can understand. Next you can actually insert text, you can just add text and you can actually um just type in whatever you want. Today I'm just going to type in test thing. You can actually make the opacity bright or dark. The rotate, to rotate it. If you at, at zero, it will be straight. At hundred, at 360, it will be straight also because it's 360. But if you have to put it to 180, directly 180, it's completely flat. And you can resize it by holding the button. So maybe I'll just hold it like that. You can increase the shadow for it so it looks more three dimensional. And um, you also can change the fonts, the size, as you guys can see I have all that, the size, the color, and all that fun stuff. The next thing you can do is just open, save, and share the file, this image. So at the bottom you can actually turn it right, turn it right, turn it left, turn it right, I mean left, and you can zoom in, zoom out, compare, compare, like compare the original, compare the now, the now, the now. Compare, 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 compare so you can see that's much of a difference and you can reset them all. Yeah, so you can make it look new, but then I don't know why you would do that. So actually let me I just add a text and let's put Wojaka. So let me, let me first just save this and save this and resize it and let's put it into save photo. So let's go back to home and you actually see the second option which is collage. So just click on it and you can actually add the picture. So I actually have this picture, so let's let's drag it in so as you guys can see there will be the collage and you can actually make it up and down or pretty cool and you also can adjust it so that you will see the difference you can actually have different templates so like one two three the, 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 the how many squares and circles you have 
So I'm just gonna do this template. So let me add another image. This is the Benji Cam image. Again, I'll put the link in the description for the Google image. Um, then maybe let's add in a. Let me just search the internet. Google images. Images. And let's maybe just search for. <laughs> sorry, vertical image. As you guys can see, maybe I'll just use this link called pizza. Let's save this. Let's just save it and we'll just open it on here. So that's basically it. So that's really, really cool. Uh, and then you can adjust the corners to make the like the top of the corners look different. Like if you guys can see the, the corners here, there's a difference. You can make a shadow. Which if you can if you guys can't really notice, there will be a slight shadow that appears around the sides. The width of how big and small the image will be. I normally like to put it like just me touching. The colors, you can actually change the color of the background. Okay, let's put it as blue. I'll go to the patterns and actually you can change the patterns. Let's put it as a star right now. And there'll be this freestyle where you can actually adjust it according to what you want and then you can freeze just basically freestyle it and randomize, randomize. Let's just keep randomizing. Pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoyed it today. Um, and today my font of the day. If you guys do not know, I will be studying a font of the day. Um, let me just show you the font of the day for today for that I like. Actually, I have used for the start of the video. Let me let that thing load. It's actually Minion, um, Minion Pro. Let me just search Minion Pro. This was the font I used for my um, for my title screen, so you guys can actually check this out. Um, um, let me just check dafonts.com. Dafonts.com. I'll leave all this in the description down below. So actually, let me search for Minion Pro. But I do believe this comes into your Windows automatically. Yep, it comes into your Windows automatically. So that's actually really cool. I like Minion Pro, and that's my. Uh, uh, um, um, fonts for today so check back tomorrow maybe to get my second font of the day and hope you guys enjoy if you guys did please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys will want to see next time and what kind of reviews you want to see next time so let me just go over today we did Fotor, um video editing software and and it was pretty cool so I'm um, a um, uh, picture editing software it was pretty cool, so hope you guys enjoyed. Um, peace. Ish, 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 ish. Ish, 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 ish.